All right, folks, so let's talk about the band Primus. Their songs, specifically the ones you could choose to impress someone on your first date. Now, fair warning, picking Primus is already a bold move. You're not just saying, hey, I like music. You're saying, hey, I'm willing to risk everything in this panini of peculiarity. <laughs> so there I am, playlist primed and Primus powered, thinking what'll woo her, what'll wow her, what'll whisper wild wonders into her woozy, wine-filled whims. My first pick, my name is Mud. Oh yeah, because nothing screams romance like rhyming mud with spud while the bass line bounces like a beaver on a bongo. <laughs> She's sitting there like, did he just call me mud? And I'm like, no, it's metaphorical. Maybe? Actually, I don't know. Let's Google this Claypool later. <laughs> then I try to pivot next up. Jerry was a race car driver. Because what says, I care about your dreams, like the tragic tale of a guy who drove too fast and didn't make it. Sorry about Jerry, I mumble, but isn't this slap bass sensational? Meanwhile, she's Googling how fast she can fake an emergency text. <laughs> All right, last ditch effort, I queue up Winona's Big Brown Beaver. Now listen, before you judge me, I thought beavers are industrious, beavers build dams, that's practically a love language. But no, folks, no. Instead of laughing, she just looks at me like, are you? Okay. <laughs> And I'm sitting there thinking, no, no, I am not okay. I'm emotionally invested in a surrealist funk metal fever dream, and I am absolutely blowing this date. <laughs> By the time John the Fisherman rolls around, she's gone out the door, left faster than a bass riff in Tommy the Cat, and that's when it hit me. If you want to win a woman's heart on a first date, maybe, just maybe, don't lead with a band whose mascot is an existential shrimp. <laughs> Lesson learned, folks, lesson learned. But hey, if she can't handle your Primus phase, she doesn't deserve your fish phase, am I right? Yeah.